Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's Cataract Surgery. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be guiding you through this procedure today. A cataract is a clouding of the lens inside the eye. The lens is located behind the pupil and focuses light on the retina. A cataract causes loss of vision that can't be corrected with glasses, contact lenses, or even LASIK, so it must be surgically removed. We are going to remove the clouded lens and replace it with a new one called an intraocular lens, or IOL. The surgery takes about an hour and can be done on an outpatient basis. Today, our patient is a 66-year-old woman who has noticed an increased blurriness in her vision as well as decreased night vision. She saw her eye professional and she detected cataracts and recommended her to us for surgery. Let's begin. First, we need to administer a relaxing sedative intravenously. This will make our patient drowsy, but not put her to sleep. Just prior to surgery, additional drops of anesthetic are applied. We'll use a device called a speculum to hold the eye open wide during the procedure. Place the speculum for me, please. We begin the surgery with a small, painless initial side port incision. This is called a limbo corneal incision. It's done by making a small cut in the limbus with a crescent knife. Next, we use the crescent knife to make a corneal tunnel into the anterior chamber of the eye. A thick, transparent viscoelastic fluid is injected to fill the space between the cataract and the delicate underside of the clear cornea in front of it. This is done to keep the cornea from collapsing during the procedure. Help me out and inject the fluid into our patient's eye. Now we need to make a 2.85 millimeter wide incision at the edge of the cornea for the cataract removal. This is done with an extremely thin diamond scalpel. A bent needle is inserted into the incision and used to poke a hole into the clear sac that holds the lens with the cataract. The needle is dragged to cut a line in the sac. With the incision made, we'll insert the forceps to grab the torn sac and tear a circle out of it. Now you will need to inject fluid into the incision to separate the lens from the capsule. This causes the lens capsule to float so that it can be rotated during the next step. We'll now perform phaco emulsification, or phaco. This is done by using ultrasound to break up the affected lens so it can be removed from the eye. To do this, we pulse and drag the device to cut across the cataracted lens. We repeat the phaco from the other direction to create four pieces. The phaco is then used to suction out the pieces of the old lens. I'll need you to remove the last remaining soft cataract material out of the eye, leaving behind the clear, empty lens capsule. When you're done, inject more viscoelastic fluid into the lens capsule to keep it from collapsing.
The flexible intraocular lens is rolled up for insertion by the assistant and placed in a soft tube. The IOL is now injected through a tube into the vacant lens capsule. A probe is used to spin the lens into place. The thick fluid we added to the eye will need to be removed and any remaining microscopic cataract fragments should be rinsed out as well. The incisions in the eye are generally self-sealing. Very rarely that we need to add a suture to close the incision. In our patient's case, we don't need any sutures. The lens is now in place. Our patient will need someone to drive her home after cataract surgery, and she shouldn't drive until she's cleared at her follow-up appointment tomorrow. We'll prescribe medicated eye drops to use several times each day for a few weeks after the cataract surgery. And she'll need to wear a protective eye shield while sleeping or napping for about a week after surgery. A special pair of post-op sunglasses will also need to be worn to protect her eye from sunlight and other bright light as her eye recovers. You did a great job today, surgeon. While you're here, Try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. Check out our other videos on SurgerySquad.com.